right, uh, good morning and uh, thank you for keeping it Citizen Television. We really appreciate your time and company as we start our social hour this particular morning. And this morning we want to talk about, you know, it depends on where, where you sit on this particular debate, but we want to define this whole concept of masculinity just to put it in simple terms, what it means to be a man, based on what has been going around and men also complaining that there's a lot of pressure on their end. There are people who feel that if you look at the crop of men that we have today compared to those we used to have back in the day, kunashida maali. That's why we need to sit and have this very important conversation. And with me in studio, of course, the panel that we always have every Tuesday, the lovely Roberta Bobby. Amesema leo ako na mambo mingi ameleta. Ako na issues. Mawaida. Mawaida. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you for having me always. Yeah. Leo ni bluey day. Na kwambia leo tumesema eh tone down. Leo ni mambo ya wanaume mambo serious. You guys look so lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Karibu ni pia nini? Kiti. Good morning. Umeamua tu hapo na sije. Acha tu tukae tu hapa na navy blue na white. Unaona imeingia na navy blue na white. Acha tukae kwa na moja. Good to see you. Eh acha tu nisema I give thanks for the gift of life. Unajua sasa zingine unakuwa msi kadi una hata siku wa shua kama nilikuwa ready kukuja leo but I'm glad I'm here mm -hmm. and we give thanks for life maze hiyo ni kitu yenye we just overlook but being healthy and being alive is a very important aspect so thank god I'm here all right mm -hmm. and we appreciate you know the love you have for the show thank you yeah? thank you tokpeleka pole pole asante thank you <laughs> cj good to see you good to see you as I'm well i'm so happy that you're here <laughs> to understand i know why <laughs> Yeah? I know why, but I'm the specimen. <laughs> so I'm not very... <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's good to be here. Karibu sana. All right. Hey, so leho, tunataka... I don't know why we even... Why should we even be sitting down to define what masculinity or being a man is? Iyo shida kilianzia wapi? Kuna crisis? Na ni nini? Like, why, why should we even find this impo as, a, as an important conversation? Tuanzia up. Yeah. So, masculinity, let me start by defining what masculinity is. Because kuna watu maybe hawaelewi, wanasikianga tu, oh, masculinity this, are you masculine? Are you masculine? Mm. So, masculinity ni traits, characteristics, ama attributes zenye ziko linked to men. But so some not gender and like me social construct. So it doesn't mean that because those attributes are there and we talk about them, you must have them or you you have to be exactly like this for you to mm -hmm. be considered a man. Personally I think masculinity and femininity ni things you you define for yourself as you go along. Mm -hmm. it think, it's things you, you look at and you say, the more you grow, the more you gain intelligence, you say, okay, uh, this is the kind of man I want to be. Amma, this is the kind of woman I want to be. So I think defining it is important because it gives us a, a place to start to have this conversation. It gives us a space to uh, compare to talk about you know the good attributes the bad characters what do you think it means to you what does it mean to me so <coughs> it's yes I think it's it's an important thing to start having these discussions so that you know you figure out what masculinity mm. is for yourself because I believe it varies uh, along yeah. the way for everyone mm -hmm. some people think some things are masculine others think it's not masculine but the importance of us being able to define what it is and even have this conversation, talk about it, it's because it being even a social construct, kuna vitu si ulenga tu zinafanyika. And then we reach somewhere like now, where mm. now we are seeing like there's a discrepancy, ama kuna issues. And because we've never talked about it, we don't even know what it means or what it is. So masculinity, you being a man, you being able to exist as a man is how you define how you define it for yourself, how you feel for yourself. Now this, this is a good man. This is a masculine man. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we hope by the end of this conversation to tell you your definition. Yeah, man. You standard, <laughs> But just a similar you know, mm -hmm. concern for you, QT. Ninini unaangalia saie nye ina happen kwa society? And from a woman's perspective, mm -hmm. you're concerned mm -hmm. about the kind of things that you think. Where? Let's talk about that. What? 
Me I think saizi sisi wote tuko na hiyo mimi kwanza najua niko na hiyo masculine energy because I've gotten in trouble because of people saying you know uko na hiyo energy because I'm taking care of my things so ni kama people are seeing it like a man should be able kuna zile vitu zina define a man na kuna zile vitu of course zina define a woman society imezieka pale but vile Bobby amesema it does not necessarily mean you have to fit into society you define your life for yourself and do what you got to do but I think kuna zile tu vitu zina stand out as a woman mm-hmm. because what ni pianetu example vizuri uh, to me grow up tukijua i'm supposed to cook hizo vitu tunafunzangwa of course mm-hmm. we grow up knowing you're supposed to cook you're supposed to do to serve your man to take care of your man and all these things so we grow up knowing these things but who defines that for the man nani anaambia ga mwanaume zile vitu zenye anafaa kufanya who tells the man who sits the man down and actually tell him by the way you know as a man you're supposed to provide for the family you know you're the head of the house we read it in the bible the man is the head of the house as there as christ is the head of the church hiyo tunaisoma na tunaitambua but when it comes down to it do they really uh, stand up to that role do they really become like the men that they are supposed to be that is a question ukiona tumeka hapa chini tuna discussion kumaanisha kuna vitu zenye zime come up zinatufanya tuna question all these things and most times you will find that women to actually to may now to may stand up so we are, we are actually doing what was defined for the men mm-hmm. we are actually <coughs> providing for the families right now it's no longer about ati mimi tuko nimeolewa tumekaa na mtu kwa hao yeye ana provide mimi nimeka home na lea watu wengine na pika it's no longer about that so if i start taking care of the bills watu wanaanza kusema that is masculine energy hey, by the way we vibes zenye unatupatia <laughs> wewe sasa nikao umekuwa mwanaume and i'm like if i don't get a man who uh, stands up for himself and actually does that so i'm just supposed to sit back niache sasa nyumba sasa isambaratike kwa sababu sasa mwanaume amekata kufanya Kenya na kufanya but you see i think the issue that we have no one told this man what he's supposed to be mwanaume tu anaambia go strong kila time strong strong what does even strong mean <laughs> yani chalia ki grow up wewe unajua ufai kulia chalia kianguka mtoto boy akianguka atambia wewe amka ufai kulia wewe ni mwanaume dema kianguka oh pole kama unajua unajua una get even not to grow up kujua so wewe mwanaume aki grow up hata emotions zake aizi open up actually for a man opening up atambia wewe ni mama what does that mbona unamwambia hivyo in the first place so i think the people around sisi wenye tume grow up hivyo sisi ndio tunafanya hao hata men wako hivyo it's not actually their fault by the way sisi ndio tunawapata hizo vibes za eh we, we ni man man bana wewe unafaa ufanye hivyo unafaa ufanye hivyo but nani alimkaisha chini akamdefine sisi we were lucky enough actually didn't expect that from you siku tega me utaenda kutetea moja but ni sawa but ni sawa tu but i think to my boy our our awajalelewa hivyo sisi tumedefiniwa as we've been defined for it the yani barabara yetu ilitengenezwa na na file kilikuwa softer but for the men hakuna mtu mwenye aliwa aku hawakuoniwa na mtu nobody want them out of his it is out here so yeah cj i mean some people think it should be obvious that because you're a female you're supposed to just automatically follow the script of what it means to be a woman similar to men once we exam to kijana it should just happen you know but is it that obvious well um it's not very obvious mm-hmm. it should be because you see what bobby talked about that it's a social construct mm-hmm. so you're supposed to have models and images before you mm-hmm. that you can copy mm-hmm. in the absence of that then there will be a remodeling and even what we define masculinity to be is mostly around the people we have had mm-hmm. so in some spaces then a man is supposed to be this very difficult person to deal with understand he doesn't mm-hmm. talk he's abusive and that they define that as masculinity because that's their social construct mm-hmm. you go into another place uh, it's a very different thing so again culture plays a role religion Uh, plays a huge role um exposure education mm. socialization all of those they play huge huge roles uh, in some places women pay dowry mm-hmm. uh, in other places men pay dowry so this whole thing then is what do i see when i'm growing up and what do the people who are around me tell me about who i am and whom i'm supposed to be mm-hmm. so uh, talking about whether it's supposed to just flow you know the thing that kitty is talking about the masculine energy in a woman when there is no definite strong masculine personality in the life of a woman mm-hmm. she has to step up mm-hmm. it's adaptation 
because you have to protect yourself. Life itself is difficult, it's hard, it, uh, you get all these winds against you, you know, you need to pay your bills, you need to deal with the rough society out there. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have the shield, you, you will either build yours or you become your own shield. Mm -hmm. So even the women that are nearly like masculine in energy, they are an adaptation to an absence of that firm masculine energy around them. So some would argue, sorry to cut you short, that it's because of that masculine energy that the man is actually no. a step. And, and I say, no. man, I mean, no, no. chance, no. umpati chance ya kukua mwanaume. No, so. <laughs> because either directly or indirectly. Mm -hmm. um, if, for example, a girl has grown up being raised by a single mother, the mother would have to have been toughened up to raise this girl. She has to go out, fend for, fend for these children, pay the bills. You'll realize that this mother then loses a certain softness mm. because the pressure of life is putting on her a certain demand where now she has to focus more on what she needs to go and do outside, mm -hmm. hunting, than for her to come back here and cuddle the babies. That's very difficult for them. So if this girl is growing under such a mother, this is the image of a woman that she will see. Mm -hmm. She's going to see a tough woman. And there's not too much time to be emotional because the pressure is too much. Are we going to cuddle around you feeling pain or should I go and work and make sure you have food? Mm -hmm. So it's survival mode. And it is the survival mode that produces tough women. And it's not because they want to be like that. If you bring this woman into a place where she doesn't feel threatened, mm -hmm. where she doesn't have to survive, mm -hmm. then you will see the softer side mm -hmm. of her mm -hmm. coming to play. So it is not that that is what is making the men be away. No, the men are away, therefore the women have got to get into survival mode. If a man comes in and makes this woman safe, not even anything else, just safe, when you are safe, you put off your guard. When you go home, you'll get off your wig, you'll get off your earrings, you'll get off stuff, because you are safe in the space that you've gone into. So whereas it, needs, it seems like it's supposed to be obvious, it's not very obvious because that social construct has been tampered with. Mm. Right. And just to pick up from that, <laughs> <laughs> I've nodded my head from the beginning. Yeah. From, from, from a woman's point of view, um, what sort of structure of a man would you feel would, would actually give the both genders an opportunity to live you know according to who they are supposed to be like yeah. give you room to live as a woman and also the man feeling like they have the space to, to, to live as a man so your package, your belly, kuje aje. Yeah, from a woman's. If things were to, if factors were to go the way that you, would, uh, if things were to happen the way they were supposed to happen. So you see, this is this this is not even according to me, Roberta. <laughs> this is according to the natural balance mm -hmm. of life. Uh -huh. There's a lot of biology, psychology applied in all this. And I want to talk about, before I answer, I want to talk about the difference between like the energies and the attributes mm -hmm. and characteristics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So masculinity and femininity is equal tied to gender. Like this is masculinity, you need gender. But when we talk about like masculine energy and feminine energy, they're not tied to gender. Mm -hmm. Even if fluid, mm -hmm. because these energies exist in all of us. Venya Kutia Mesema, she's been told she has masculine energy before mm -hmm. because of some essence that she has. People see you act a certain way, they feel this is how you are. And it, it shows up because that's the natural balance of life. It's like the yin and yang. Mm -hmm. You have masculinity and feminine, mm -hmm. feminine energy within yourself. You just choose how to show up. Mm -hmm. It's a choice. And you which decide. will come out more. Yes, mm -hmm. and it comes out very naturally according to the environment you're in, Venesi Jamesema, religion, mm -hmm. uh, the, where <laughs> you grew up, childhood trauma. If you had a mom like that, your chances are you might emulate her or you might make the choice and say, I don't want to live the way my mom lived. I mm. want to be softer. Mm -hmm. I want to, to take life slower. I want to, to speak a bit softer. So you see, that's not tied to gender. Yeah, gender yeah. Even a man can show up like that. Mm. A woman can also show up in the opposite way. So what helps us be now to answer you, what helps us uh, show up in these ways is 
it's a natural balance of life. The thing is, you have to get to know yourself so that you know which energy is dominant mm. in yourself. Shida ni tuna try ku ku define our say masculinity yeah. mm. ni nini. Mm-hmm. Alafu tuna wa force wa ingi kwa hiyo yeah. box. True. Na saizo wa mse, maybe that's not the dominant energy that they're, that they're showing. Maybe that's not their essence. Like CJ said, if you put a woman in her natural space and you provide safety and care and and this is not even about what most men when I talk about I like trying to be very soft when I'm talking about this topic mm. because some people take offense very very easily and there's a lot of things that are like a lot of toxicity around them that wase how I realize wow kumbe kitu naweza define ya for myself kumbe naweza decide for myself uh, what being a man is and like also CJ said atuna a lot of um models hatuna pictures of who to see mm. and what to copy so that we can say that that's that's now that's a man or now that's a woman mm. we're just showing up in our unhealed mm. situations mm. we're very traumatized mm-hmm. the women are having to step up and yeah. adapt the men are also reacting to how the women are and mm. now they're finding themselves in this feminine energy they can't explain we're blaming each other mm. at you wewe unakwanga unashoingia hapo kama mwanaume na wewe ufanyangi kitu kwa nyumba mm. na kufanyia kila kitu i still provide you mm. see that's where that division comes in because people are not first of all hawataki kujijua ndo wajue wako aje ukishajijua even if you're a man and you exude feminine energy ni sawa lakini jua too if you go to a woman who also has feminine energy and that's not what she's looking for you guys are gonna clash because ni wote mnataka kuwa baby girl kwa relationship nani atakuwa nyinyi wote mnataka kuwa soft nani atakuwa tough and si lazima kukuwe na mtu tough na soft it's just about understanding who you are and knowing what you want so that you can be yourself unapologetically and authentically and you can look for what complements you if you're a woman who's in your masculine energy This means um, remember I said energy mm. is not tied to gender. Yeah, yeah. And and just yes. to clarify yes. from from where you said it's okay to to have both these energies mm. exist within you. All of us have yeah. them. Yeah. All of us kama mm. mimi I I pay my bills. I protect myself with na kwanga na njora kwa keja. Mtu anaweza mtu ni a protection. Ni a strictly protection. When you're a woman who lives alone mm, like you have to take mm, measures, mm. you know. I protect myself, mm. I provide for myself. You do I everything. Do all the, it doesn't mean I'm a man. If mm. you talk to me you see this girl is soft. But also <laughs> still, <laughs> when you see me trying to protect myself, it is a turn around very very fast. Mm. So these energies exist in all of us. Yeah. It's just about where we could you are, which essence do mm. I exude? How do I want to show up in relationships? Once we figure that out, ni sawa as in mtu wa fire atakukwambia kama hizi vitu watu usema ati mwanaume afai kubeba umbrella. Ati we ni mwanaume unaje lunch. Sijui nini vitu ka hizo unaona? We laugh at them and they joke sometimes, mm-hmm. but when you take a step back and think about it, you realize Mm. these things are things you have to sorry to use that word but these things are things you have to define for yourself mm. and decide okay i'm a man and i like my umbrella when it's raining and i must eat lunch <laughs> it doesn't make me less of a man when yeah. i wear pink mm. these 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 men who you'll talk to even things like dressing in pink it's a real yeah, issue it's mm. an issue like it's mm. it's beef mneza kosana ukweli why because they look down upon femininity anything it they might not even hit women or they don't like things about women they hate being tied to the softness that comes mm-hmm. with femininity mm-hmm. the they don't like showing up as soft mm-hmm. or being seen as yeah. emotional mm-hmm. when in real sense easy energy is equal yeah. to see water all of us mm-hmm. have the ability to show up as feminine and masculine mm-hmm. it's just about where are you comfortable what do you want for yourself so once you figure it out for yourself and you define it for yourself masculinity can look like mm-hmm. you wearing pink you ha- being a very uh, emotionally available person mm-hmm. who's able to communicate mm-hmm. your emotions but because of easy hatuna hiyo model lenye si anasema how to do what it really yeah. looks like okay we're not figuring out for ourselves who we are and then unaingia kwa situation 
na dem soft kama robata <laughs> unataka kunitesa <laughs> wewe ndo unaniuliza babe when will, will you take me out <laughs> It has I'm just that 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 because it makes you realize also the energies you need to complement right. yours all right, all right. Mm -hmm. yeah you see you know <laughs> kuna hii tutoe tutoe provision mm hiyo -hmm. ni muhimu mm -hmm. nisikatai lakini yes. other than providing mm -hmm. what else do you think would, would would make you appreciate the male figure mm -hmm. you know other than provision because yeah. the reason i nimetoa hiyo mm -hmm. we overemphasize on that on and then financially yeah. having a lot of toxic people who True. use the excuse that nime but i'm mm. providing yeah. that's the only thing ni kama tumepatia wanaume mm -hmm. kama that's the only thing they are supposed to do True so that. other than that mm. what else eh kwanza bobi amenibamba tu vile amaongea that's <laughs> that's really amazing so um leadership for me and i keep i think i say this in the show all the time i need a man who leads yani wachana hata venye umesema tutoe financial tutoe hata story ya do can you be able to lead iko hiyo hao tunaangalia ule mtu mwenye anaweza tupatia direction like where we headed na sieti sina direction sieti sijui mali tunaweza enda but you need a man who actually leads you you need to know like to solution provider una get men are natural solution providers hata kama hauko na yeye hapo size unaweza mcall tu mwambie hey, by the way mi kuna venye job kumeenda hivi na hivi unapata tu ana anakupatia points mm -hmm. not necessarily kuna vitu zenye anakuambia na huko umeiona into in that aspect you know like ulikuwa tu maybe umeka hivi uko na hiyo block you know sometimes you're just in a daze you're in a block but huo msee kikuongelesha unaona anaku provide a solution so ule msee wa kukuuliza so huko kwa ngori na unamuuliza na kuambia saa tutadu una get hiyo hiyo kitu ya saa tutadu you know you don't want a man who asks you that like sasa utafanya nini so what's the next step nataka mtu mwenye anaweza lead you how if it's me and my kids you're there you're telling us by the way babe I think we should be able to do this and this and it's not because i cannot be able to also do that i can be able to but yani unataka tu huyo mwanaume mwenye ako na hizo qualities anaku lead anaku protect ule cj alikuwa anasema it's not that i cannot be able to do all those things for myself but juo mwanaume amekam ana change bulb una get amekuja anafanya hizo ako na hiyo nyundo yake hapo mahali ana he's just fixing he's a fixer you know he's just fixing things for me at his juni nini sasa hiyo ni nini ilikuwa inakupa stress babe you know you just need Asha fix mm -hmm. na wewe kwako it was such a big deal nasiye tewezi change your bulb lakini sasa unaanza kujiambia sasa nitaenda kwa hardware nianze kutafuta hata nianze kupanda so stool nianze kupanda juu you know nasiye ati amtaki kufanya hizo vitu shida ni hamtaki kuzifanya mkiwa na hao na tunataka mwanaume eh. mwenyako hapo anakuonyesha <laughs> baby i got this Ish, i got okay. you na get <laughs> like i got this venye cj amesema mtu anakuweka kwa space yenye maze you in a space you feeling so safe do you know you actually let your guard down most of the time utapata dubo ya kuambia by the way najua umeweza kujifanya hizi vitu but let me take care of you let me do these things for you i know you can do them set your ways jifanye hiyo kitu na get uko na umekatu hapo set your ways pick but you have this uh, crazy craving so unasikia tu unataka kukula kitu fulani hapo hapo anakuambia hebu tumana hiyo food by the way nikulipe bill and it's not even about the money hey, yeah, i'm just saying yeah. you know and it's not even about the bill it's the thought it's actually That's the thought how. inaweza kuwa okay. ni kitu ya so mbili inaweza kuwa ni maya boiled mm -hmm. unajisikia kukula hiyo maya boiled anakuambia by the way changamka tumana you see so it's not really about hiyo story ya financial tutoe tu hiyo financial cuz maboy wengi wanakujaga wanasema oh unajua ningekuwa na do ningeku date it's not about Amana, that ama kutumia do alafu akuja kwa hao asubuhi nani amekuambia nataka ukuje kwa hao asubuhi mimi nataka tu ukwe tu hapo utu lead as a house useme eh by the way watu hii wanaweza enda shule fulani naona by the way atunaweza fanya abcd we can actually be able to do this and this so it's about the leadership making you feel safe protecting you from even other people just protecting you and by the don't talk don't to, don't talk to her like that you need to respect her unajua you know such kind of things ndio zinakufanya eh hey, by the way unajipata sasa umelet guard yako down unajua ni kama huyo boy anaweza ni protect right. anaweza ni lead na anaweza nifanyia vitu kama hizo right. so mambo ya do tutoe hapa kabisa <laughs> but ni muhimu ni muhimu oh. but for now tuitoe hapa kwanza sasa hizi umesikia wa girl child ndio ameongea they are not asking for much i mean oh no me wako api na mbona hizi vitu zisi happen to the way the way they are describing what is the problem is there a crisis when it comes to 
the aspect of masculinity that we are experiencing in this modern day and age? Well, they are men. They are men. It's just that, you know, society has a way of focusing on what's not working mm -hmm. and, yeah. and magnifying yeah. that. Then when something is working, that's, that looks like it's very boring. You know, um, you guys in journalism talk about uh, when the dog bites the man, that's not news. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's when the, the man bites the, the dog. dog. Yeah. So there are a lot, of, a lot of great men out there that I never talked about. Mm. They're too busy being good men that they're not even seeking publicity. It's true. And nobody is trying to notice that. Then we go out and find the others who have issues and then we magnify that and create this picture mm. that this is who the men are mm. out there. On the other hand, again, um, there would be a little bit, a little bit, I'll put a little bit of this again sometimes on the ladies mm. because sometimes they don't allow the men to become men. Sometimes. What do you mean allow? Sometimes. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah. Sometimes they don't allow the men yeah. to become men. Mm -hmm. um, you see, Kitty talks about you, she wants a man to lead. But I have seen cases where women won't let their men lead. Mm -hmm. They've got good men, they've got strong men. It's not that you, they picked a weak man mm -hmm. that can't lead. They picked a good man who can lead. And because then the man has been raised with certain values, he will not want to put down his woman. Mm -hmm. So if this woman is manipulative and if she's overly aggressive, then the man steps back. So he will not lead, not because he could not lead, mm. but he loves this woman, he's in this life, he doesn't want it to fail, he doesn't want to put her down, so what does he do? He steps back. And if you sit with men, you'll hear uh, several men who will tell you those kind of things, like you see the place where you'll never win a war is in the house. Mm. Like they really, really, really try to keep their relationships. It's not easy for men to come up and say, my relationship is not working, or we were having this. He can go through an abusive relationship relationship and try to keep it down mm -hmm. because he feels he's a protector within that space. On the other hand, if a lady is going through something very quickly, you may get to hear it. So there are those men also who have been put in a place where they say, well, let the lady have her way. He doesn't want to lose her. He doesn't want to lose what they've built. But again, he doesn't want to fight with her. So he says, let her have her way. Some of those girls, it's because of the insecurities that they have. They're trying to prove a point to themselves or to the other person. Maybe the people who spoke to them around them while they were growing up or at some point or experiences they've had, uh, put it in their heads that a man should not dominate you. So they do not know how to define leadership and separate it from dominance. Mm -hmm. They feel that if the man is giving direction, he's trying to dominate you. So then that insecurity comes in and say, he can't tell me what to do. So she will take over. So the man won't be the leader. Mm. So it is also important for the women to let the man lead. If you want him to lead, align, fall back in space. If we say this is the first, then you need to align. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't have your mind, you don't mm. have your dreams. Like Kitty said, you know, it doesn't mean that I cannot, I don't have direction. But then there is this general direction. Where are we going? And I want to hear perspective. So I should be able to give that perspective. Even if I don't have money, even if she has more money than I do, I should be able to give that perspective. It doesn't mean control, like every single day you're saying, go this way, go this way. Mm -hmm. No, you must be like the GPS. You give direction only when there is a turn and mm -hmm. we need to know which direction when to it's go. Necessary. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, so that it's also not overbearing because leadership is not overbearing. Leadership is about direction and guidance and pro providing safety and an environment within which other people can flourish. So again now, coming back to the man, if you don't provide an environment where this woman can flourish, she may not feel that you're a leader. She may begin to feel that you're trying to control. But let the women also. If you choose this man to be the man in your life, you should have uh, looked at him and seen the qualities within him that include the aspect of leadership. And so don't pick him up and then try to turn him into a child. Mm -hmm. Don't say yes mm -hmm. to him and then you never let him be a man. Even if you, are, you feel you're brighter, you're more educated, 
Listen, mm -hmm. you see, wisdom doesn't only come from, actually, wisdom doesn't come from books. Mm -hmm. Knowledge does. Mm -hmm. But life is not all about knowledge. Life is about experiences, perspectives. So somebody could be standing over there and they're seeing something that you're going to do that will hurt you, harm you, destroy you or something. And they can see it. Uh, if you feel they have nothing to say after a while, they will keep quiet. So there are also men who have been emasculated mm -hmm. in their relationships. Mm -hmm. They don't talk. They can't talk. These are the guys who will leave work and look for the nearest place where they can socialize with other people. Mm -hmm. They're the people who drive home and sit in the car for hours. Because <laughs> they don't know how to come in. Yeah. They yeah. can't fight. They yeah. don't want to fight. <laughs> They'll do everything else all right. But then they feel like when they go into that house, right. they feel small. So partly you blame it on on society, you know. Kuna vile tunataka, but there is also what we haven't done to create a conducive mm. environment for these men to thrive and uh, to really live their life to the fullest the way they are supposed to, yeah? Mm. Yeah, and, and you know, sorry, but you know, sometimes people will make mistakes, like even in their judgment. Maybe this person wasn't really used to making a lot of decisions. And then now you were with them in day in your life. You met in campus. You had not even assessed their <laughs> leadership qualities. You fell in love. <laughs> and now you've decided to do life. Mm. They are learning how to make decisions. Mm. They will make some mistakes with those decisions, whether it is investment, whether it is career, whether it is, you know, they've decided to move to this uh, estate instead of the other one, uh, rent and stuff. As long as this person has the right heart and the right view and is trying to do the right thing, you can allow them to make those mistakes as they grow. So you don't punish them just because the last time they put this money in this investment, it didn't work. Mm. So now you never will listen to them again <laughs> concerning money. Yeah. So how is it going to grow? All right. Yeah. Let's also talk about the realities we live in today, Roberta. Um, there is, there is the, the, the traditional way of how men and women used to balance out their responsibilities. Mm -hmm. But let's accept things have changed. Women have gone to school, they, are, they, are, they have, some even have better jobs, earning better, better money compared to the men. And these people are supposed to be in some sort of relationship. Some are even married. Bono mm expect -hmm. boy child I mean, you can do those things yourself. Yeah. Why are you asking me? Yeah. Why are you pressurizing me to do? what you can do for yourself. So how do she then not care? Yeah? Because you can show up, the men also feel, I mean, who can do, you can do all these things for yourself. Women feel I'm no longer that type of a, of a lady who will sit at home and 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 nikai tu niki chunga watoto niki pika. I mean, I want to be out there doing things and living life. How do we navigate the realities of today? Yeah. Yet we still want the traditional ways of, of, of things. Come to Mimi. I'm a, I think I'm a good example of <laughs> someone who talks a lot about being traditional, but in a modern, mm. in a modern way. But like, that's a really good question mm. because it goes back to first of all dating people who you like. And you know, what to jump into relationships? You may realize without even. I know you as you date, you get to know each other. But even before that, there has to be like a precedent of. Who's this person you're liking? Nakama how how do you na like nani? Ina manisha uneza like mtu yoyote. It's like you you haven't defined what you're looking for. You don't know who you are. You don't know what you want. So mtu aki kupea attention to kidogo. Ama pesa kidogo. Ama kupike kaugali. Una fall in love, be raised. Kwa sabu, anything goes. And that's why it's very important for you first to know what you want so that you're not getting angry at this girl when she tells you me i'm not a stay-at-home wife i'm not that's not what i am i'm a career woman i like to go out there get my own money do my stuff i'm a chalia na kwambia me decide ya nasika kuka home na watoi unanza ku get shocked when really these things you normally see them in someone's traits and characters even before you guys get serious and while things change and people make decisions along the line I think as the relationship progresses, you guys are supposed to have these conversations so that you're consistently keeping each other on the loop. You know Wagwan, you know what's happening in their mind, how do they feel, what's happening. Because things change. Your man could lose his job. Does that mean he's stripped off of his masculinity mm -hmm. at this point? Mm -hmm. 
I might decide I never want to cook in this house. Does that mean I'm not a woman? It doesn't. It's just decisions change, things happen, experiences. We, we morph into who we've always wanted to become. But even that starts somewhere. It starts, it's like uh, maybe someone watches me on TV and they, they don't know me. They just watch me on TV. There's jokes I'll make about, does he have a trust fund? Mm -hmm. Does he have money? Yeah. It might be a joke, <laughs> but like... Those are questions that should come up if you and I start talking to each other. Mm. If there's comments I've made that have made you feel a certain way, let's talk about it so that you mm. know exactly. Usikuja kunita gold digger. And from the beginning, I have been making these jokes about money. Mm. Even. You know that's what, mm. you know what, you know what I want. You know mm. what I'm looking for. Relationships. Communication is important. Na watu kudra Kenya wanataka. Ndo kusikuwe na hizi confusion ama ku, ku, kujami ya mse, ama ku, kuto taka ku understand your partner where they're coming from. Mm -hmm. So having uh, people having these uh, traditional notions still in their mind, trying to exist in a very modern society, it's, I think it's possible because all these traits we have, we borrow. Everything we do, you'll find the way you dress, maybe you copy your mom. You'll find uh, the way you the way you the way you cook. Maybe your dad taught you how to cook like that. Mm -hmm. We are always a culmination of all the people we love, all the people we've met before. So, as you go forward, have these conversations with your partner so that they know exactly where your mind is at. Yeah. Do you feel like you want to be a stay-at-home dad? What does that mean for me as your wife? Does that mean I have to take an extra job? If you you need have these discussions, there's nothing wrong with getting to know each other. Actually, it's, it's what I think people should take it seriously yeah. now. What one I did haphazardly bila ku, kujali uh, about background, yoyo mse, religion, mm. culture, traumas. Mnona tu, nakapoa, mi nakapoa, sawa, twende. <laughs> but it's much <laughs> deeper than that. Mm. Mnona ulizana yes, favorite color when really you guys should be discussing yeah. important things like <laughs> what are your view, how do you feel about money? What do you think yeah. about having children? What do you, important questions that actually might mm. make or break the relationship. And I'm not saying talk about this the first day. <laughs> it's just easy vitu unazionanga mm. before okay. you guys even get to the point where you decide, okay, let's get married. So uh, what I'm going to say is intent. Be very deliberate with your relationships, all sorts of relationships that you get in, especially romantic relationships. Understand that we're all, uh, we have to make this relationship symbiotic because there's a reason to me, to me taftana. Mm. Kuna kitu unataka kwa mm. una pia kuna kitu mm. unataka. Na staki gender roles, ifanye situations zika ini kama, ini kazi ya waschana, ini kazi ya wanaume. It's just gender roles do exist. Social construct, anyone can do anything they want in the relationship. <laughs> anyone can learn even mm. new things True. that they were not, not doing before. But the thing is, consistently have these discussions instead of assuming and defining roles for someone. There's men who love to cook. He'll be in the kitchen every day consistently. You don't even have to tell him. And there's a woman who'll pay the bills without being asked. And she mm. doesn't care. She's fine. As long as her family is safe, her family is good. Ni gender roles too, but how will you know that if you guys, first of all, kwa dating period, ama kukatiana, mm. wanitanga talking stage, mm. you guys know nothing about each other except mm. favorite colors and favorite food and you si, si how to discuss nini. <laughs> Shule walienda and those kind of things. Get to know so this what person better. What I'm getting is, um, mm -hmm. it, doesn't yeah. really, it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what should matter is, do you, the two of you, do you understand each mm -hmm. other? Do you understand... Um, what you expect from each other, the role that that person is supposed to play in your life. And it can vary from one relationship mm. to another. To another. Mm. Ina naza kuwa na pick you. Yeah. 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 Ina nataka kulitiwa bills. Yes. Ukwele. Depends. So ina depend. Mm. Mm. Kitty, I want you to tell me, um, as we're about to wrap up, in this modern day and age, mm -hmm. um, how should a man show up for, mm -hmm. for a woman in this modern generation? Wow, that's a really yeah. tough question because uh, <laughs> like, I think 
ni tukai chini na huyo mwanaume tuongee hizo vitu zote una get kama mimi na expect anilipie bills nafaa ni mwambie nafaa ni mwambie baby by the way i think you should actually be paying the school fees the rent and then i'll take up maybe the food and the shopping i think it's something that we need to sit down and discuss na niambie ni aje i cannot be able to do a b c d tukai tu chini tu tuweze tu kujadiliana mimi i think hizo ndio vitu zina work size kwa relationship because akina madhe na fadhe not hakuna cha my money yo hakuna kitu kama unapendana na mse hakuna ga kitu yo money my money me that's what i believe because na believe mnafam kai chini na nilisema hapa mambo ya pay slip vitu kama pay slip mtu akaniuliza mbona unataka kuwa na pay slip yang why why do you want to, why do you need to know my pay una get so it, it it really depends with the two of you wachana na story ya society don't let society uh, define you sometimes because wewe ni mse mwenye migrow up mimi ni migrow up nikijua budangu ndo alishikufanya kila kitu hiyo time alikuwa mta like yeye ndo alishiku provide everything as little as bread asubuhi hiyo time bread sijui ilikuwa how much yeye ndo alikuwa na buy so hiyo ni mentality yenye mimi ni migrow nayo na kama inakuja i change size tukiwa na huyu boy well and good ni aka chini aniambie baby i cannot be able to do a b c d but mimi sitaki kumweka kwa hiyo cocoon sitaki kumweka kwa hiyo box ni mwambia ti lazima ufanye unajua lazima ufanye kwa hata mimi saizi si lazima nifue mtu wangu si lazima ninge hiyo kitchen nipike si lazima nifanye hizo vitu zote na nani ndani understand hivyo so the same way i want my man to understand me i should also be able to understand him so it's all about the two of you sit down together have a conversation and saizi sisi ni career women kwa siko ubaya but we are career women nitapika cheki sawa hizi kula chakula house girl but na wewe kama ni cha hivyo basi sasa si hata mimi nafani semee mimi siezi li parent basi babangu aliishi kuli parent mimi siezi buy hata hiyo bread hata hiyo kitungwa hata hiyo nyanya siwezi buy the same way unataka unajua sasa tukianza kuongea hivyo itakuwa ni sasa wewe fanya wewe fanya wewe fanya and instead of having all those things ndio nimekwambia we are career we say this time yenye nafika home sio time yenye madhe alikuwa nafika home madhe alikuwa afika ga home for sasa hizi probably mimi naingia home hata hiyo 12 naingia home one nitapata time ya kukupikia saa ngapi buda nitakufulia saa ngapi una get au watu wote ndio wa prepare saa ngapi things have changed let's adjust let's just adjust to the situations that are here with us and circumstances and let's let's not box people yeah. tuseke watu kwa boxes tuambia ti hii ndio role yako hii ndio role yako kama mtu wangu anataka kupika acha tu apike mimi sina shida anataka kupika wacha apike basi mimi nitalipa bill siko tu sawa ama ni aje safin wacha tu afanye Kenya na fila na anaweza fanya <laughs> CJ you get the final word ongea na wanaume uko nje well i think i think um, this whole <laughs> conversation um, and what kitty is saying now it's because foundations have been messed up none of those things would be an issue if the very foundation of relationships was love mm. you know the thing mm -hmm. that bobby talks about that you get to know the other person yeah. if i love you i'll serve you mm. yeah. and i won't feel the burden of it mm. uh, the definitions that we carry into the relationship may become the issue If you come into the house cutie as a career woman there's already a problem. <laughs> If the man comes in as the engineer, doctor, lawyer, there's already a problem. <laughs> yeah, 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 true. But those things are who you <laughs> are out there. Mm. When you're in here, mm. your husband, wife, you're a man and his woman, you are stripped bare. Mm -hmm. You relate from the core, mm. not from what you do. So the definitions of whom you are to each other should be at the core. Then when you go out you're a banker you're a lawyer you're a journalist you're all this that is who you are to other people mm -hmm. not to this person mm -hmm. so when you come here you've got to relate the way children relate then you will find that it is very easy to play certain roles it will not be very difficult because nobody is trying to mm -hmm. uh, yeah. compete or something so we see here historia kuitana let me ask daktari about for wakili to come watch your mambo ya wakili daktari mwalimu mwalimu we ask mwalimu wewe unaita bwana yako mwalimu anyway that's how we wrap it up thank you so much for watching the show this morning we do this again next week you can actually suggest what you'd like to discuss if you have any question for my lovely panel please interact with us at citizen tv kenya at safin underscore cheng at roberta bobby at qt lady josh at cj at emu let's keep the conversation going but for now it's a wrap enjoy the rest of your week